What's wrong with you? What are you doing? That's enough! Found on board the Dreadnought gunship, these vessels are fully automated fighters. The offensive weapons built into these craft are very impressive, but what made these machines so deadly was the artificial intelligence. Stored within each fighter is a vast and complex database featuring thousands of years of space warfare strategy. These nodes are devices used by the Borg as a means of supplying communications to drones within a vessel. Once a drone leaves the vessel, it switches to far-range communications that radically increase the distance of the communication with the collective. Normally well protected and hidden within a Borg vessel, if a DIS node can be destroyed, it will incapacitate any drones linked to it. This mineral is a distant cousin to the dilithium crystals used to power Federation starships. Found on board the Dreadnought gunship, these energy crystals may be used as a power source for several alien weapons. Prolonged exposure to unshielded crystals can be hazardous to living tissue. The energy terminal is used aboard Borg vessels to resupply drones with the power needed to keep functioning when they are unable to use a regeneration alcove. Power stations are rare because they are used only in emergency situations when drones must function for an extended duration. Hazard Team suits have been outfitted with equipment that allow the use of power siphoned from a Borg energy terminal. The Forge was a gigantic structure in space that housed the Vorsoth and his army of Reavers, super warriors grown from stolen DNA. It also generated a huge power dampening field that stranded any starships within 149 million kilometers. The Forge was destroyed by Voyager when the intentions of the Vorsoth were discovered. This device was used by the Vorsoth to grow their ultimate warriors, the Reavers. Once the Reaver is at an adult stage, the chamber acts as a hibernation unit that keeps its occupant in stasis until needed. This is an extremely rare element that has the ability to regulate matter-antimatter reactions in the same fashion as dilithium crystals. Isodesium is not usually used aboard Federation starships because of its rarity and its relatively short lifespan. But the element was of use when it was discovered isodesium could function under the forge's dampening field when Voyager's dilithium crystals could not. Vastly different from standard starship technology, the spacecraft built by the Aetherians is actually a hybrid of inert materials and living tissue. This ship was grown and outfitted in space and feeds off the radiation produced by stars. It is not a sentient creature. But the ship does have a rudimentary intelligence, and the Aetherians treat it with a respect that resembles parents caring for a child. This relic of days gone by was discovered on the scavenger's base. Though a total wreck, the shuttlecraft was still an excellent chance to view technology over 70 years old. A plasma filter is part of the power network of a Borg cube. These devices are placed randomly throughout a ship to filter out plasma frequency deviations. It has been found that plasma filters are explosive if shot with a high energy beam. More than just suspended animation chambers, these pods also act as medical equipment. A rejuvenation pod is able to scan the occupant's DNA and determine the normal functions of the body. It is then able to determine the best course of medical treatment to correct any damage. A minimal crew runs a dreadnought gunship, while the rest of the vessel is operated by a large number of maintenance robots. It is assumed on longer missions that the entire crew would be placed into suspended animation in sleep chambers while the robots continue to operate the ship. Ethereum teleporters act similar to dimensional doors and instantly transport an individual from one location on their ship to another. 
This is vastly superior to current Federation transporter technology, which requires the molecular structure of a body to be broken down and converted into energy for reassembly at a new location. The Vinculum is the Borg main processing unit used to connect an entire ship's crew to the Borg collective. It also helps route all communication within the ship. It contains some of the most advanced communication technology ever created. Reports indicate that destruction of a Vinculum will result in a power feedback loop that will destroy the host Borg ship. On October 4th, 1957, the Soviet Union launched the first man-made object that was able to successfully achieve an orbit of Earth. Weighing 184 pounds, it circled the Earth every 96 minutes. This leap in technology began the space race, in which the Soviet Union and the United States of America placed a very high importance on the conquest of space. The culmination of a 238,000 mile journey that took four days. The Apollo 11 mission landed on Earth's moon on July 20th, 1969. Flight Commander Neil Armstrong and pilot Buzz Aldrin sat down in the Sea of Tranquility in a lunar module named the Eagle. As the first human to ever set foot on the moon, Armstrong spoke the immortal words, that's one small step for man, one giant leap for mankind. The first spacecraft to bear the name of Voyager, this series of probes was launched beginning in the early 1970s. The main intention of the Voyager program was to study Jupiter, Saturn, and bodies on the outskirts of the solar system. In the late 1990s, Voyager 6 was launched and fell into a black hole many years after leaving the solar system. The probe emerged on the other side of the galaxy in the vicinity of a planet of living machines. These machines completely refitted Voyager 6 for a long return trip, making it unrecognizable to its original creators. En route to Earth, the probe was met by the USS Enterprise, which eventually determined the alien craft was merely returning to Earth to transmit the data it had gathered over the course of its journey. The eugenics war started during the 1990s when a group of genetically engineered supermen attempted to take power over the rest of humanity. At one point, these selectively bred humans controlled 40 nations. The most powerful was Khan Noonien Singe, who ruled almost one quarter of Earth. Due in part to these supermen fighting amongst themselves, terrible wars broke out and entire populations were destroyed. It seemed as if Earth was on the brink of a new dark age, but in 1996, the supermen were overthrown and peace was restored. Khan was able to escape into space with a group of his followers aboard the sleeper ship SS Botany Bay. Occurring in the mid-21st century, World War III involved the use of nuclear weapons and devastated a large portion of the Earth. Over 600 million lives were lost over the course of the conflict. Much of the planet reverted to a barbaric state in the post-atomic horror. Although records of the times are incomplete, it is known the legal system paid no attention to individual rights and even banned the right to legal counsel. Warp drive is the means by which Federation starships achieve faster than light speeds using the controlled annihilation of matter and antimatter. This technology was invented by Zephram Cochran in 2061 during the Earth's slow climb out of the destruction left in the wake of World War III. Aided by engineer Lily Sloan, Dr. Cochran created his spaceship, the Phoenix, in an abandoned missile complex in central Montana. The use of the warp engines on the Phoenix was detected by a nearby Vulcan scout ship and resulted in the first contact with an alien civilization. In 2156, because of a dispute over territory, the Romulan Star Empire and Earth fought a war in space using primitive nuclear weapons. This conflict lasted until 2160, when a peace treaty was negotiated over subspace radio. The treaty led to the creation of the Romulan Neutral Zone, which was approximately one light year in width. It was agreed that if either side entered the Neutral Zone, it would constitute an act of war. The United Federation of Planets was formed in 2161 to act as an interstellar alliance of planetary governments. The Federation oversees a number of activities that include exploration, diplomatic matters, scientific advancement, and trade between member planets. 
The Federation is governed by the Federation Council, which meets on Earth in San Francisco. As of 2373, the United Federation of Planets had 150 members, spread out over 8,000 light years. In 2218, the Federation had a disastrous first contact with the Klingon Empire. It led to decades of distrust and violence between the two governments. Tensions reached a peak in 2267, when Klingons issued an ultimatum that all Federation personnel should leave any disputed territories. Unknown to either side, one of the disputed areas contained the planet Organia, which held a highly advanced race of non-corporeal life forms. These life forms imposed the Organian peace treaty on both sides, making armed conflict impossible between the Klingon Empire and the Federation. Duotronics was a leap forward in computer technology invented by Dr. Richard Daystrom in 2243 when he was only 24 years of age. This advancement won Dr. Daystrom a Nobel Prize and became the basis for all Federation Starship computers. Daystrom attempted an even more advanced computer technology known as Multitronics, but it ended in failure. After 80 years of service, Duotronics were replaced by the more advanced isolinear chips that are used in today's starships. The explosion of Praxis in 2293, a key energy resource to the Klingon Empire, caused the Empire to realize it could no longer afford to maintain a huge military force. Led by Chancellor Gorkhan, the Klingon High Council launched a peace initiative in an attempt to end many years of hostility with the United Federation of Planets. Unfortunately, Gorkhan was assassinated, but his daughter was able to continue his work which was successfully concluded in a peace treaty known as the Kittimer Accords. The Q are a race which exhibit godlike powers and near omnipotence, yet they seem nearly childlike in their playfulness and impatience. First contact was made with Q in 2364 by the starship USS Enterprise D during its first mission. The entity Q held a mock trial in which he charged that the Enterprise bridge crew was grievously savage and should not venture into space. Since that time, the Q have made several more appearances on Federation starships. The first contact with the cybernetic race known as the Borg occurred in 2365 when a member of the Q continuum instantly transported the USS Enterprise D to system J-25 over 7,000 light years beyond Federation borders. They encountered a huge Borg spacecraft that attempted to assimilate the Enterprise and its crew. The Borg forces were so overwhelming that the captain of the Enterprise was forced to ask Q to save his ship by returning it to Federation space. Located only 7.8 light years from Earth, Wolf 359 was the site of a tremendous battle between Federation forces and a Borg cube starship. The outcome was disastrous, with the loss of 39 Federation starships and 11,000 lives. The Borg ship was finally defeated when the crew of the USS Enterprise D was able to implant a command into the Borg Collective that caused the ship to self-destruct. Launched in 2371 and featuring a bio-neural network computer system, the USS Voyager is the most advanced Federation starship ever built. Unfortunately, Voyager was lost in the Badlands and assumed destroyed soon after launch. In 2374, Starfleet received word that Voyager had been transported to the Delta Quadrant by an entity known as the Caretaker. Efforts are currently underway to bring Voyager and her crew home. In 2372, Tom Paris, helmsman of the USS Voyager, was the first human pilot to break the transwarp threshold and achieve warp 10 velocity. Unfortunately, it was discovered that the experience has adverse effects on living beings. Paris's transwarp flight caused his cellular DNA to accelerate the evolutionary process, and he mutated into an amphibious creature. Voyager's emergency medical hologram was able to reverse the mutation and return Paris to his normal state. Because of an alliance made between the USS Voyager and the Borg, a female drone known as Seven of Nine aided Voyager in the creation of a weapon that would destroy an invasion force of Species 8472. During a violent encounter with Species 8472, Seven of Nine's cube was destroyed along with its crew, leaving her stranded on board Voyager. 
Seven of Nine was at first resistant to returning to human society, but she is making the difficult transition with the aid of the crew of Voyager. The Big Bang. Black Hole. The Drake Equation. Dwarf stars. The galaxy. Giant stars. The Milky Way Galaxy. Nebula. planets quasars Quantum Singularity. Stars. Temporal Rift. The Universe. Phaser. Compression rifle.
Infinity Modulator. Scavenger Rifle. Stasis weapon. Compound grenade launcher. Tetrion pulse disruptor. Photon burst. Arc welder.
Specify deck desired. Deck 4, Hazard Ops. <laughs> 